Do you want to use Call Calendar to categorize the events in your organization? Let me show you how to create Color Calendar that can be used in SharePoint Online. Using SharePoint to manage communication and collaboration in your organization is the best choice. At the same time, having organization level calendar when you can group and present the events dedicated for the whole organization is something that works every time inside the intranet portal or on the group team site. Thanks to Microsoft lists, you can create list of events that will be categorized and be presented in the calendar view. But since the first release of SharePoint, one of the most common business requests was how to make this calendar colorful, to categorize them and then add colors to the specific category of the event. Today I want to present you how to do the colorful calendar using SharePoint Online. And this video is inspired by another YouTube channel, SharePoint Wizard, provided by Amy. Please check the first comment in this video. You will find there the link to the Amy's video about how to build color calendar in the document library. Ami's channel is great resource of the cool features around SharePoint Teams and whole Microsoft 365. His video inspired me to show you how to do very similar experience for the calendar using SharePoint list. And if you will like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe this channel. And we will move on to the SharePoint Online when I will show you how SharePoint list based calendar works and how to create colorful calendar based on it. So when you will move to standard SharePoint site, the first thing you need to do is to create standard list. So something that will contain the title, description, start and end date. You can easily done that based on the landing page of the SharePoint page. The element which we want to do here is the creation of the calendar view, which will be colorful. To do that, firstly, you need to create the calendar view and select the calendar category. In this setup, you can see you need to select the start date and the end date. Plus you will have the possibility to select the title that will be presented on the calendar view. As soon as you will be ready, just create the view. Created calendar view is quite flat, so all events are gray. It's quite difficult to localize and found any kind of types of the events in here. So our goal will be to make this view colorful. In the recommended video that Ami presented, he recommends to do one thing, which is unfortunately does not work in the SharePoint list right now, but works perfectly well on the document library. So go to the standard SharePoint list settings and in the calendar view, add additional columns. Unfortunately, at this moment, this is the solution that does not apply to the SharePoint list. So what we have to do, we will need to create two additional columns that will help us to categorize the events and then another one to use it for styling of the calendar view. In the next step, we'll create category, which will be choice column and calculated column that will help us to bring the title and the category to one field. So the only thing we need to do right now is to create the new choice column that will contain the categories that we want to use to present the information about the list. So how to categorize the events that will be included in our calendar view. And this could be possible setup of your column. So possible type of the events you want to use here, nothing unusual. The next column you should create is the calculated column. Calculated column will be the column that will allow you to merge two information in one place. In this case, what we want to do, we want to get the title and the category in the one field. 
you can see this is some kind of workaround to the limitation of the calendar view. So let's see how that column will look like on the list. You can see that our list contains two informations. One will be category for all events and another logical column that will calculate its value based on the title and the category. Having that, we can create the new calendar view that will contain the styling. So let's do that. So in our colorful calendar view, we want to use start date and the end date, but our title column will be cut column, which is calculated column created in the preview step. So let's see how it will look right now. You can see we get exactly same experience like in previous steps, but we have all necessary information to style it. And how to do it? You need to go and format current view. This is the new feature that allows you to manage how presented columns in this view can be used for styling. You can edit that kind of formatting. So select the category column and you can see you have the limitation here that you can only use one logic rule is equal to or is not. So this is quite limited, but let's select is equal to and we will update that values in the next steps using advanced mode in here. As soon as you will set up all rules for all categories that you are using, this could be the way how it will looks like. Now we will update these rules to switch from is equal to to ends with. And to do that, we need to switch to advanced mode. And I can imagine that this view could look a little scary for you because it looks like very hard development, but you will see the update we're doing here is super easy. The only thing you need to do is to update that kind of statement from equal to ends with and repeat that operation to every category. As soon as you will do that, save it. And you can see that already styling is applied to your calendar view. Small development part was not that difficult and thankfully we can update the styling of the color calendar as we wish. And you can already see that all this tricking of the custom development is required because there are still some missing parts in the configuration. Hopefully this is something that will be updated in the future. At the moment, this is the workaround that you can use to apply styling and create colorful calendar that will contain all necessary information and also present very nicely in the calendar view. And one more thing, you can use that view and publish it on the SharePoint as a web part. So also let's try to do that. The only thing you need to do to add calendar to your SharePoint page is to edit it and add additional web part called list. Select list web part, select the calendar and in the configuration you apply different styling based on the view that you will use in here. And in the configuration you can also decide do you want to present additional information or simplify it as possible. Apply the changes, republish the SharePoint page and your calendar is published for everyone. You can see it's super easy to create colorful calendar in SharePoint. Unfortunately, you need to use some kind of workarounds to apply the styling in the current setup of the SharePoint list. You can see setting up colorful calendar in the SharePoint online is a little tricky right now. Hopefully the setup will be extended and you will be able to configure that using SharePoint interface in the future. Right now, use this workaround if you want to have colorful calendar on your SharePoint page. This is a really great solution to communicate in the organization about important events. Same, you can use it internally in your team or department to manage important timeframes around the month. Level of development that is needed here is very minimal and you should be able to set it up that kind of calendar just in few minutes. If you did not do that yet, use that video as a tutorial. In the description of the video, you will find also the article that describes this process in details. 
and recommended by me video provided by SharePoint Wizard YouTube channel, which I also recommend again to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.